Today we are going to, we're gonna eat Pop-Tarts. We have many, many Pop-Tart flavors. 16 Pop-Tart flavors. Now, real quick, we're not gonna toast the Pop-Tarts. No, we're, no, we're going in wrong. And this was a great debate. But here's the deal. I want you all to have usable data. And I'm gonna be realistic. Nobody's fucking toasting Pop-Tarts. But people are like, what if you toast the top three? Guys, I don't have a toaster. We're also sitting here in the living room, not the kitchen. The other thing we're gonna do in preparation, H, is we're going to guess mm -hmm. what we think will be the lowest scored Pop-Tart and what we think will be the highest scored Pop-Tart. We're gonna write it on a piece of paper and not, we're not gonna share. We'll reveal at the end. Uh -huh. Feel good? Yeah. Uh -huh. I have different colored markers, not that it matters to Alan, but here, Alan, you can have black. <laughs> Now, quickly, I'll run through the flavors. All right, yeah. chat, so you can play along. Play along at home. Eggo, frosted maple flavor. Frosted cherry, frosted strawberry. Mm -hmm. Frosted blueberry. Frosted grape. We have apple. That's apple fritter. Lemon, and then this has got to be raspberry. Yeah. Okay. We have brown sugar, snickerdoodle, gingerbread. Mm -hmm. Frosted s'more. Frosted confetti cupcake. Frosted cookies and cream. Chocolate fudge. We also have Boston cream donut. I could not be less excited <laughs> about a flavor. And then lemon cream pie. We talked about this as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. One bite Yep. in the middle. We don't want somebody to get crust and other yeah. people to get middle. We're splitting them and we're doing one bite each in the middle. Classic. First up, first up, strawberry. I submit to you that the smell of this particular Pop-Tart is the most quintessential Pop-Tart smell I think known that's to right. man. One bite, right in the middle. Ready. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Clink. Clink. Oh, it's so good. It's <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's how I felt about Oreos, too. I gotta eat the crust, I'm sorry. It starts, it, you're gonna eat 16 of these and then Korean barbecue. We're going to Korean barbecue We're going to today. Korean barbecue oh, after we eat all this. Mm -hmm. Now it's one to 10. One to 10, you can use decimals. So, frosted strawberry, a classic. Give us your rating. You cannot go wrong with a frosted I, strawberry. I agree. But I'm not gonna sit here and say that that's the one, if you were like to give me a choice, I'm gonna reach for it. And yeah, you will. So this is a 7.8 for me. Wow, mm. that's pretty low. I was gonna give it like an eight, nine. Whoa, high Whoa, school. I think it's delicious. Yeah. Hold on. I think it's classic. It's not quite a nine. It's not a, it's a B plus. I am more in line with Alan. I was gonna give it a seven. I think a seven is good. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not upset about I'm it. I'm gonna reach for it. But it's okay. not the one that I'm no. gonna go no. for, okay. right? Okay, I think a lot of these are gonna disappoint If you were talking That's to- probably true. <laughs> true. I think sure. there's only maybe three that are gonna beat strawberry for me. Next up, I think we should do blueberry. Blueberry. Blue Interesting okay. enough, the smell has not changed. That's <laughs> true. It's a uh, there is a blueberry scent to it. Okay. Right down the middle. I think that's the first time I've ever eaten a, a blueberry pop -tart. I think so too, Agreed. and I don't care for it. Agreed. I think that it largely <laughs> tastes exactly the same. I think that it largely I tastes think that's very similar. Crazy. I don't think it's as good. I prefer a straw. Straw greater than bloob. Which means I'm gonna start. <laughs> And I'm gonna, <laughs> you really cracked yourself up there, huh? I did. You really tickled uh, my side, Rob, did, greater did. than blue? I did. Boy, your bar is not high tonight. Yeah, you laughed at my, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm give that a six. I'm gonna give it a five, five. Damn, that's way lower than a straw for you. Yeah, Good it, I don't like it. Uh, this is a 6.2 for me. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're gonna go to Raspberry. Rasp. 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 Okay, this is raspberry. That smells sweeter. One bite, straight in the middle. Here we go. There's like a specific, it kind of tastes like a Linzer cookie, which I think is raspberry. So that would make sense. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give that one a seven, eight. So it's much higher than blueberry for me. Yeah. But, but it's strawberry. still not as good as strawberry. It's a six, five for me. I'm gonna go a little crazy. All right, go, go. I will say, I was a little shocked by the sweetness when I first took a bite. Mm -hmm. But as it settled in, I like that better than strawberry. Wow. Really? Yeah. But I'll give that a 7.5. Yeah. So, oh, nice. 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 I'll give that a 7.5. Uh, here we go. What is this? Grape. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, frosted grape. Thanks for grape. giving me such a big piece this time, Well, I, I, yeah. Frosted grape, one bite in the middle. It just sort of keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's so, so dry. <laughs> is it drier than the yeah, other one? It is. It's stuck to the roof of my mouth. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that um that is a that's a lingering flavor. 
Oh my God, that's horrible. And Alan, you're up first this time. Yeah, that's trash. I think that even the worst fruit will be better than oh, wow. the you're worst Pop-Tart. Oh. Pop I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, uh, a 3.6. Where does this land if blueberry is a 5.5? Two. 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 Tastes yeah, like medicine. That was pretty gross. And consistency was bad too. I'm gonna go a 3.5. The fact that it's still in my cheeks like a squirrel, like keeping nuts for the winter. Save that for later. I don't want to. I would like to save those th that gap for KBBQ. Okay, we have one more fruit to go. Back to a red cherry. Mm -hmm. One bite for cherry, the final of our fruits. Right in the middle, here yeah. we go. Master stuff right there. Does that taste just like strawberry to you? It's like a little better to me. It's like weirdly the same. I think the frosting is slightly different. I think it's a nine one. Damn! I still, I like it. I like it just to scooch more. Damn! With strawberry. The only thing holding me back from eating more of that Pop Tart is yeah. the fact that we have all those. All the other Pop Tarts. Alan? Seven. And I don't know why, but it's it's better than blueberry, better than raspberry, but I think to say that it is as good as strawberry or better is a travesty. I'm also gonna give it a seven but my reason is different. And that is that that was basically strawberry to me and I gave strawberry a seven. Sure. Okay, fruits are done. We, we have conquered fruits. Uh, apple fruit are up next. It's not, it's oh. not overly, overly frosted. frosted. It's sort of a toaster strudel. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what this smells like? This smells like no, apple cinnamon oatmeal. Apple yeah, cinnamon it oatmeal. It totally does. Apple fritter, one bite in the middle. Here we go. Okay, right off the bat, that texture is very different. <laughs> oh, there's a cinnamon note at the end. Oh, there is a cinnamon note at the yeah, end. Yeah, it's like I didn't have that the whole time, and then all of a sudden it was like, boop. I, I agree it needs more frost. For consistency, it was it was dry again. And I do yearn for the boop of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> the cinnamon boop. And so I'm going to give that a five. Okay. Right in the middle. I also think it's unoffensive. To be honest, it tastes a little too healthy for a Pop-Tart. Mm. <laughs> I want a Pop-Tart to taste like I should be eating it. So I'm going to put it at put it at like a 6-2. I do think that is one that if we heated it up, it would be better. And listen, right, that, that you know what I mean? Right, Here, right. Here's the deal. Chat, we accept had we toasted all of these, we might get a different we, result. We might, we might. But the reality is, no if I were to buy that, I wouldn't toast it. Yeah. It so so I don't want to know. You're running a convenient life that runs fast. Maybe apple fritter in for you. For people who want to slow down. <laughs> yeah, so if, yeah. you're, if you're if you're a re leisurely, if you're a retiree. <laughs> this you've is the lived, pop tart you've for you. lived a, a fast life, and now you got some time. This is the to pop chill tart for out you. A little bit. You know, you could make a full breakfast, but you, you know, don't get crazy. Yeah. You you've worked your life. You're Ready looking breakfast. for the convenience of pop tart, but, but the, that, luxury, but the of luxury of retirement. <laughs> And I think apple fritter is your speed. Yeah, Five point three for me for the apple fritter. I think that that's a that's a good one. That's that's a weekend pop tart. Okay, next up is lemon creme pie. Whoa! Whoa. Look at this. Listen, that is I'm, vibrant. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of is eggs. Like eggs at like a like a buffet. One bite in the middle. Hmm. <laughs> I love it. Bark it off, champ. We got a whole door. We got a whole room. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a certain cookie. It tastes like pledge. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe it's just because my Pop Tart opened in an aggressive fashion and enveloped my tongue. I think this is a. <laughs> uh, this is a three, four. Molly? Um, yeah, you gotta stop tonguing the gel <laughs> so you can give us the rating. I'm giving it an eight, two. Eight, two? I think it's delicious. Eat that. Do you like it more now? No. <laughs> I didn't hate the flavor. I don't love the aftertaste. I'm gonna give it a 5.7. Someone just asked if I just gave you the piece I licked. Yeah, that happened. Okay, okay I think we should same. start with Frosty Confetti Cupcake. Chad, uh, another one that I need to put on display for you. That's a pretty one. It's all color of rainbow sprinkles on a white bed of frosting. And they're fat sprinkles. I got the little guy. Oh, wow, wait a minute. A potent style. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know how there's different styles of paint? This is like a matte cake. Mm -hmm. This one really just covers your entire mouth. It absolutely 
does taste like diet food, except for it's not diet food. It's like, just eat a cupcake. You know what this is? Is if you stuck your tongue directly into a Funfetti cake mix box. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's no, it. it's, that's insulting to Funfetti cake mix. Oh, it's a paste. It's like actual yeah. frosting. It's like, it's, it's like a, you could, you could submit something to a wall with that. That's, that's wall tack. Alan? Yeah. What's your rating? 3.4, same as the lemon. That is literally crazy to That's me. way worse than the lemon. Um, I'm gonna give it a two, four. I still think grape is worse, but I hated that. God, that was pretty bad though. Yeah, it was very bad. But it wasn't as pretty offensive bad. as grape. I'm gonna give it a four. I think we're gonna see it again. We have some weird flavors though. Next up, we're gonna do Boston cream donut. If this is like a chocolate chip cookie, raisin cookie uh, situation. That's what I think it is. It's we're gonna have a problem here. <laughs> It's yellow oh, inside. That was a surprise. I guess that's what color the filling oh, is. That no. was a surprise. It looks like a s'more, but there's a yellow filling inside. Has... I'll give it. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That is> repulsive. <laughs> so bad. Why is it? Why is it tart now? Oh God! I know what it tastes like. I know what it Trash. tastes like. Trash. <laughs> They're trying to make it taste like a donut too, which obviously I'm personally repulsed by. That is absolutely repulsive. It's the one. <laughs> it tastes like powder's eggs. Put a one on the sheet for me. That is terrible. I'd rather eat grape. If you oh, were here for Oreos, I responded poorly to Java, Java, Mocha Java chip. Mocha Java, Java chip. And this is so <sighs> much worse. I'm giving this a point one. <laughs> like, I don't think it can get worse than that. Yeah, that's a point 0.5 for me. I kind of forgot we could go under a one. I would like to amend, and I would like to go down to a point 0.1 as well. Oh my God, that is horrid. Let's get out of this funk with- Frosted chocolate fudge. This is gonna make chocolate fudge better. I have had this one before. Have y'all had this before? I don't think so. No? Oh, it smells incredibly chocolatey, but like health yeah, chocolate. It, Gotta say, eating the donut before didn't make it better. It's not nearly as bad. It's not even Oh, it's not near as bad as the donut, but it's still not good. I'm gonna go, I'll go 5.5. This is a four from me. Mm. I was also thinking four. It's, it is below average, mm. but at least they're not trying to replicate anything that they just shouldn't touch. Sure. Yeah, I'm going four as well, cause that's high enough above confetti cupcake, but it's still lower than all of my berries. Sure. Cookies and cream. I have high hopes. Do you? I don't know that I do. I don't think I do. I think if it'd be you better take than an fudge. Oreo and just shove an Oreo into a Pop Tart, yeah. but it's not made by Oreo. You're, I mean, correct. Ooh, that that's, smell. That's, that's a, a smell. That is a potent ass oh, smell, everybody. Oh, wow. All right. Mm. One bite in the middle. Oh my God. Oh no. This is the off brand Oreo. <laughs> yes. Oh. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. We can agree, hard agree. I will say that that is a three. I was gonna say a 3.1. That was disappointing. <laughs> well been there. And there you go. We're using some more as our transition. And I will say, this is my comfort tart. Tart. I don't know that I've ever had a s'mores pie. Really? It's so good. It's unavoidable chat. I grew up eating s'mores. I, I love s'mores. Yeah. So the actual s'mores, I tend to like s'mores based desserts. So I'm I'm excited. Perfect. Never disappoints. It's not too sweet. Nope. Mm -mm. But it is sweet. That just unlocked my child, like my middle school lunch table memories. People in chat saying these are even better than when toasted. I wouldn't know. <laughs> 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 Who do you think I am? A 65 year old with nothing to do? <laughs> I'm gonna give this a nine one. Now. Nine two. Mm. That's oh. an important distinction. That is. I enjoyed it far more than anything from the last like five. Uh -huh. I don't enjoy it more than some of the fruit ones. I like. You're allowed to fruit. be wrong. So I think I'm gonna give this one a seven nine. So pretty high. This is a. I mean, it's not a nine. It's not above a nine for me. I think this is like an eight, an eight point eight. Alan is traditionally hard on scoring. Yeah, he's a he's a harsh judge. He's a harsh judge. Can I amend mine actually down to a seven seven? Because I'm. What? I'm noticing I have raspberry to seven eight, and I like raspberry more than this. Uh, frosted brown sugar cinnamon is our next poppy tart up. Yeah, a classic, like an icon. Yeah, one, oh, wow. uh, like a favorite of many. Also smells like the oatmeal. This is dry. This is a dry boy. This is a toaster. You have a toaster's one. Yeah. Um, Alan, what's your rating? 
7.6. Wow, that's higher than I expected. The flavor's good. The texture makes me want to rate it lower. I will say I think it's better than Bloobs. Bloobs. Yeah, it's better than I like bloobs. it better than Bloobs. Better than Bloobs. And so for that reason, I will give it a 6.7. Oh, okay. a palindrome we just created, you and I. Indeed. I'm going higher. It is sweet, but the cinnamon flavor cuts it to me because cinnamon isn't a sweet flavor. Cinnamon. 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 me. I'm going to give this one a 7.8. I wouldn't be mad if uh -huh. you handed me this pop. And it should transition well into our next yep. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. I think the next two and that one are all gonna taste the same. It's certainly very possible. Whoa. Whoa. It's Is it not, frosted at all? Not frosted. And it's not ripping very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's doughy in there. It is doughy. Um, it does smell like a Snickerdoodle. It does, that's true. It does smell like a Snickerdoodle. Wow, I pull apart. The way that you were like, confetti cupcake is a cookie, this is a cookie. <coughs> what is that? Oh God, that's not a snickerdoodle. It's like somebody described the consistency and texture of cookie dough in another room. And then that person who was making the pop tart took the instructions of the person eating cookie dough in another room and then tried to make the cookie and they dough. they didn't know a cookie dough And was. they didn't know a cookie dough was because they were an alien. I didn't tell you that part yet, but they were an alien. I wasn't offended by the flavor of the Snickerdoodle Pop-Tart. I was offended by the texture. Yeah, but unlike the carrot cake Oreo, which I actually liked, yeah. and I just, we- It was we, just dishonest. We faulted it for its yeah, dishonesty. Yeah. This one, it tastes too much like brown sugar cinnamon, but with a worse consistency. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a five. A five? You, you think it's average. I would rather eat blueberry and most of the other ones, mm. but I would still rather eat that than chocolate fudge or confetti. It's a three. A three. It's a three. Three. I think they, this could have been done well, but it, the texture is just so bad. It, I can't. I can't support that. It's oh. not near near Boston Cream Donut. Let's not get crazy. But it is the second worst pop tart that we've eaten tonight, which means I'm aligned with Alan. I will also be giving it a three. Okay, that gets us to gingerbread. Ah! There are different patterns on. Ah! They printed holiday designs on it. It's a mailbox. It's not really a holiday. It has well, yeah, it's a in Christmas it. mailbox getting Look at that tarts. chat. Does it get points for this? No. No. <laughs> okay. Gingerbread, frosted gingerbread, one bite in the middle. This smells like Clarabelle's float mm. from the Very Merry Christmas Parade. I can't decide. I can. You know what it wants to be is like an oatmeal cream pie. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which by the way, has yeah. nothing to do with gingerbread. No, no. <laughs> this might be a dishonest pop tart. Similar to the s'mores, I like the texture. Okay. I'm not saying I love the flavor altogether, but I just liked, yeah, the texture of the pop tart. I'm giving that a 4-1. Mm, oh, pretty well. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. I'm giving it a 4-1 because I gave the chocolate fudge a 4, mm. and I would rather eat this than the chocolate fudge. It mm. just, it didn't taste like gingerbread, really. I'm gonna give it a 4.5, Alan. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna give this a 3.5. It was not better than the f frosted chocolate fudge. I agree. You and, and I are pie. using the exact same decisions. Yep. Our points are just different. Yeah. Is that Eggo? Yeah, it's it is potent. Yo, Fantasyland, we got Eggo Maple here for you. Boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect the colors. Ooh, I have guys. a lot of feelings about this because oh, I love maple no. syrup and Rise I love waffles. Up. I'm gonna channel my inner 11 right now. Ego, maple, last one, y'all. The final pop tart. Right to the end. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You. What a delicious way to end. Flavor is good. This doesn't taste like an ego waffle. It tastes like syrup. Yeah. It's yeah, what it I thought like it would syrup. taste like. Yeah. I thought it would taste like syrup. Now, to be clear, it doesn't. Say it's waffle flavor. It says frosted maple It says fro frosted maple flavor. And it delivers. This is not a dishonest it pop tart. It delivers. It is undeniably maple flavor. You would just have an ego, but if you don't have time to make waffles because you're not a retiree. <laughs> <laughs> All the love to our retirees, by the way. We, you don't we, have we the luxury. We, what you have to know is that we're mostly, we're, we're, at, it's we're actually jealous. jealous. We're jealous. Yeah, we're jealous. I wish you... I had time to make egos every day. Eight, eight. I'm putting it right under strawberry. I think the novelty of it might make me grab it over a strawberry, but mm. I think strawberry is something I'm going to come back to time and time again. Mm. Six point. 
now. The texture throws me off, and here's here's why I say that. We've all had McGriddles, so in a McGriddle, like their their shtick is they have the syrup crystals. In yeah. There. That would be better with a McGriddle syrup crystal. That the McGriddle does this better. Well, it's not the McDonald's pop tart. Yeah. I, the I, Eggo. I, they both it's advertise not, syrup. Not, I think that I would have preferred the texture of a s'mores. Yes. Or a gingerbread. Although this is way better than gingerbread. I'm gonna give this a 7.4. Ooh. Specifically, because the only things that that puts this under for me is s'mores at the top. Yeah. And a raspberry. It is time for the podiums. <sighs> All right, so chat, our bottom three, sorry, are Boston Cream Donut, Grape, and Frosted Confetti Cupcake. Now what we are doing is we are going to try them again. The scores for these three don't matter. We are going to podium yes. the worst one. And this is ultimately what decides what applies to our paper, Correct. right? God, it was so bad. Oh. It's unbelievable how gross it is. It really hits you. Yeah. The texture of that's just so bad. One well, right after the other two, man. God damn it. That's so disgusting. I'm like, I, I, I want to laugh because I'm uncomfortable. Oh, God. That's obviously the bottom. It's not even close. I would eat Java chip. I need a sleeve of Java chip. Before, I agree. Before I need some of those. Yeah, I agree. What we're really debating here, chat, is which one of grape or confetti, which one of these is the best? I'm of the opinion that grape is the third worst because the fruit consistency sells it for me. I will make Molly the decision maker then. Oh, God. Because I will say grape is far worse than confetti. confetti. Understood. Which? Do you believe is the better of the two? I think confetti cupcake is better than grape. Okay. I am agreeing with you. I think both are terrible. No, no, they're both bad. I think this tastes like bad diet food. Yeah. But this tastes like medicine. And of the two things, I would rather eat bad diet food. There you go. Than yeah. medicine. Mm -hmm. So Chad, our worst podium in third, frosted confetti cupcake. The second is great. And on top would be Boston Cream Donut. We don't have a box for it, but it's it's the number one worst. And again, not close. But now it's time for a reward. Now it's time for our top three. And our top three, it looks like, is s'mores, frosted strawberry, and frosted cherry. Hey! I think we should eliminate one first. Mine, I would put s'mores at third, but I think you guys are gonna fight me on that. I think it's strawberry and third. I agree. Yeah, strawberry I mean, and third. I think we can all agree. I think we know the stakes here. Yeah. Molly. Team Cherry. Team Cherry, me, Team S'mores. Alan is in the tough situation that Molly was in last time. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cherry came out of nowhere and was like, hey, I'm really, really tasty because I hadn't really grown up on cherry, but Same. I will tell you that it's gotta be S'mores. It's S'mores, baby! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Don't break my pot tarts. Those are my breakfast. <laughs> the last thing to reveal. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, samesies. Now, the closest samesies was the Boston Cream Donut. The oh, distance was 0.2 because Molly and I gave it the same rating. Alan gave it a 0.3. Yeah. And now it is time to reveal. I want to know if anyone got it right. I uh, did not. I did not. No. Wait, okay. no, I got one out of three. What'd you have My for? prediction for worst, confetti cupcake. I'm mad at myself because I almost wrote donut, uh -huh. knowing that I hate donuts. You, you, yeah. yeah. But I thought my own bias would come into play sure. and that you guys might like donut. Mm. So yeah. I wrote grape. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm right there with you. I thought grape was gonna take it home as the worst. Grape. Now it's two savesies. <sighs> I went grape. I went brown sugar cinnamon. I said frosted strawberry. All right, and on to the best. Yep. I went Eggo. Oh, you, uh, got, you know what? Eggo did surprise us. I went for the us. maple swing. I went cherry. I went with s'mores. Did he? Now you have to ask yourself. <laughs> did he go? Did I he, forgot that I put it as the best. Did he actually think s'mores was the best? That's true. Or did he pick it? to get the point. You'll never know. 